So we're going to start seated and just do a little warm up and then some cats and a tiger or two. So come into your sitting bones, stack your spine, relax your shoulders, ribs in and up. And oh yeah, we're creatures of habit, switch those legs around because otherwise we tend to always go on the same cross. So go ahead and again, sitting bones down, core active, spine open. Just relax, hands at your sides and then bring them over your shoulders. Stretch up, but keep your shoulders down. Exhale and twist. So turn from your hips, ribs, and shoulder. Hand to the outside of the knee and the other hand right behind you on the floor. Stretch from your sitting bones up, and then exhaling, sitting bones, ribs, and shoulder move deeper into your twist. So just deepen as much or as little as you need this moment, and relax. And then lengthen up, and as you exhale, release your hands and turn back to the center. And oh, let's just switch the legs again and realign in position. And again, hands at your sides, shoulders down, keep them down as you raise your arms up, stretch through your head, and exhale and twist. And again, hand to the outside of the knee, other hand behind you on the floor. Stretch from your sitting bones through your whole spine. Exhale and deepen the twist. So keep remembering to move your whole body into the twist, not planting your sitting bones, but letting them move as well. Lengthen up, breathing, and then exhaling, release the hands and back to the center. So focus on the rib cage and pull it back. Rounding into that forward bend. Pull the ribs back toward the spine, the spine toward whatever's behind you. Tuck your chin in. And then inhale and drop your shoulders and shoulder blades as you lift your heart. Look slightly overhead, getting into that upper body a little bit more for the back bend. And a few times through that forward bend, backward bend sequence. Exhaling forward. Inhaling up. And then coming back to neutral, take a moment there. We're gonna again pull the ribs back and tuck in the chin. Bring your forehead down toward the floor and then roll over to the side, walking to the front and then up toward the ceiling as you come to the back and then to the other side, and forward and back. And just go through that range of motion, getting a little bit of movement through the ribs, through the hips, as you breathe with it. Exhaling to the front, inhaling to the back. Just letting your whole spine lengthen as you go through that rotation. And then the next time you're at the front, just pause, and of course, reverse. So going the opposite direction, looking to the front, then to the top, and the front, and the floor. And again, just feel the ribs get a little bit of expansion as you go through that cycle, as much or as little as your body is loving this way. One more time, all the way through the circuit. And as you get back to the front, Inhale and sit back up. And again, let's cross the legs the other way. And just take a moment feeling your body, noticing your sides, your spine, your breathing. And focus on that solar plexus. We're going to be working now a little bit with our cat sequence today. So go ahead and bring the legs out to the front. And just press out through the bottoms of your feet scaff position, and then bring the bottoms of your feet together and back in into butterfly pose. So just let the inner thighs get a little stretch. Lift your heart, back your spine, down to the seat. Shoulder blades down. And then bring your hands behind you and just cluster your body on the floor and just a little pressure into the hands 
not really lifting the sitting bones off the floor, but letting a little less pressure into them so that maybe that inner thigh will release a little bit more as you look up. So chest forward and up, shoulders and shoulder blades down, and knees out toward the sides. And then tuck in your chin, release your hands, and lift your knees. And bring your legs back into stand. And we're gonna go up on our hands and knees. We'll be there a lot, so remember, circle anytime you need to, or bring your thumb inside, wrap your fingers around, and keep that back of the wrist straight with the green part of your fingers on the floor if you need a little less stress on your wrists. You can also put padding under your knees, either with a folded mat or with actual padding. And same thing with the front of your mat, to bring the heels of the palms up a little bit if you only need a little bit of release through those wrists. So wrists, elbows, and shoulders lined up, elbows straight, the bend is toward the outside, the knees are under your hips with the feet straight back, ribs up for support on that lower back, and chest a little bit toward the floor, toward your thumbs, with the crown reaching forward, and the shoulder blades and sitting bones reaching back. And then straight back as much as you can. Spread your fingers, get the whole palm of your hand focused and connected, giving you support. And then keeping your elbows straight and your hips positioned where they are. Just drop your solar plexus, middle of your torso down toward the floor. So right between those ribs, coming down. So a little sway back position coming into that upper body, middle body as much as you can. And then sitting bones tuck under, chin tucks in, top of the head down and lift the solar plexus toward the ceiling. So really coming into that middle body as much as you can or the floor of your body. So start with your sitting bones, push them back and just wind down slowly. And again, into the back bend. Drop the ribs, drop that solar plexus down. And then starting again with the sitting bones, wind your way back up into the forward bend. Lift the ribs, lift the solar plexus. And just go through that same sequence, just kind of winding through your spine, <clears throat> into the backward bend, and then again into the forward. So you can keep doing this slowly if that's something that is working for you to get the concentration mostly through what you're doing. Or you can go a little bit faster if you want to build up that solar plexus power <clears throat> to make sure that you're energized fully through that midpoint of your torso. So inhaling and exhaling along with that motion, drawing energy into the solar plexus. We want to really heat it up because that's going to energize us a little bit more as we get into our other cat things. So maximize, minimize. Remember, personal practice, always your choice as you go through your range of motion. And then come back to your neutral position. Just feel the warmth in that center of your body. Check your positioning. Circle your wrists if you need to. Now we'll do a little lateral stretch. So go ahead and turn looking toward one side with your back still flat. Feel the ribs on that opposite side stretch open a little bit more. And think about the hip and shoulder on the side you're turning toward come closer. And then return to the center, lengthen your spine, and again, exhale, turn to that other side. Keep your back as flat as you can, and hip and shoulder coming close as that side you're moving away from stretches open through the ribs. And then again, turn back to the center. Once more, just feeling your body, noticing how it's working this morning. And then slide one hand forward, elbow down. We'll do a little gentle twist in our cat position. So the elbow's right under the shoulder, 
And then we're going to slide slightly forward with the shoulder, keeping those hips as much over the knees as possible so that spine gets a little bit of a stretch. And then rotating your whole body, hips, ribs, and shoulder, turning your head, looking toward your shoulder on the other side or further up toward the ceiling. And again, maximize as much twist as you like. And then exhaling, rotate your face back toward the floor. Press into the left hand, slide that right hand down. And again, back in table position, just feel the spine giving a little bit more twist energy through it. And we'll do the other side. So slide the hand forward, bringing the elbow down right under your shoulder. Palm down on the, both hands. And again, slide slightly forward, bringing that shoulder toward your slid forward hand. And then rotating your whole body to look toward your opposite shoulder or up further toward the ceiling. So the whole body, not just your neck, is turning. Feel the hips, ribs, shoulder, everything moving into your twist. And then exhaling again, rotate your body to look down and slide your hand back, coming back into your table position. Hips back towards your heels. Circle your wrists. Get a little bit of release through that tense area in the wrists. And again, just take a moment there. You can bring your hands next to your feet into full child's pose and just feel that stretch along the back of your neck. And then bringing your hands back to the center and pivoting up into, again, your table position. So ribs slightly down, chest toward your thumbs, and ribs up, bottom ribs up toward your spine for support on that lower leg. Take a moment there, and then we're gonna move a little bit deeper into our position. So go ahead and allow your body to stretch long through the whole spine. And we're gonna do a little balance practice. So slide that right leg out, Bring it up to hip level, extend out through the base of your toes. So keep rolling in at the top of that thigh so the hip bone stays facing the floor and the chest evenly facing the floor. And just extend out through the base of the toes behind you, keeping that leg hip level as much as possible. And then take your opposite hand, the left hand, at shoulder level, extend it along next to your ear, keep looking at the floor, and stretching fingertips and toes away from each other on those extended body parts. And again, maximize that stretch, and then bring your hand back to the floor, and here you go. Back in table position, just reassign and realign anything that needs to be repositioned. And of course, we'll do the opposite. So bring your Left leg out and up to hip level. Extend through the base of the toes. Keep rolling slightly in with that thigh to keep the knee and the toes facing the floor. Stretch it out. Keep that core active, supporting so you're not slumping through that lower back. And bring your right arm forward next to your ear, shoulder level. Stretch those out as much as you can lengthening through that kind of sideways oblique stretch. And then bringing the hand back down and the knee to the mat, back to table position. Just feel your body getting a little bit more energy through it. So keeping that core active, we're going to do the same thing, but a little bit more into that back bend. So again, right foot back, up to hip level. Keep rolling it in so the knee and toes are down. And the left arm out, stretching open. So keep rolling in with the top of the thigh, bending the knee so the bottom of your foot is straight up toward the ceiling. And then turn your hand palm up toward the ceiling. And lift the palm and the sole of your foot a little higher, coming into a back bend. 
So maximize only as much as your body wants to go. It'll be a little bit more intense. And then straighten the leg out and the arm out. Turn the palm down and return the hand to the floor. And then you go. Take a moment. Circle your wrist if you need to before we do our opposite side. So again, ribs up, get that spine supported. Stretch through the sitting bones in the crown. Slide the left leg out and up to hip level, rolling it in so the kneecap is toward the floor. Right arm out, shoulder level, stretch it out. And again, keep rolling the thigh in as you bend the knees so the bottom of the foot comes straight up. Turn the palm toward the ceiling, lift the foot and the hand a little more. So remember, personal practice, maximize or minimize your choice always on how far you go. And then straightening the leg, turning the palm back to the floor, and bring the hand down and the knee back into place. Once more, sink back hips to heels, circle your wrists, couple of times, and relax. Full child pose if you want to release the arms and shoulders a little bit more as well. Soften your belly, just breathe. And then bring your arms back to the front, and coming back up, and once again, table position. So we're gonna go a little more into the forward bend this time. So go ahead and make sure your wrists, elbows, and shoulders are lined up, elbows straight, and knees right under your hips. Feet straight back, ribs up toward, lower ribs up toward your lower back for support. Ribs, heart, and chest slightly toward your thumbs. And then once again, we're going to go into the leg back position. So bring that leg up and hip level. Roll the thigh in, kneecap and tops of your foot toward the floor. And then exhaling, stretch it out and lift your left arm. So we're gonna bring the elbow of the left arm and your right knee in and bring your forehead in with them. And then extend it back out. Stretch as straight and tall as you can. And bring the hand and the knee down. Feel that core a little bit more activated. And same thing on the other side. Left leg out, hip level. Stretch it out, breathe. And bring that right arm out again. Stretch it out, maximizing, and knee and elbow toward each other, tucking your forehead in as well. And then again, that leg goes out, arm goes out, everything straightens out, stretch it, and hand to the mat, knee to the foot. Take a moment there, just feeling table position. Check your position again, making sure everything is aligned. So once more, same positioning with the leg. We're gonna bring the leg out, right leg up to hip level, rolling it at the top of the thigh. This time, we're gonna get a little bit more arm strength involved. And bend the elbows, bring your chin and chest down toward the floor as that body goes up. You can bring your forearms to the floor if you want to. So get a straight line through the whole body, head, shoulders, hips, knee, and foot. And then pressing into your hands, coming back up, bringing that leg back to hip level, and knee back to the mat. Take a moment and feel a little bit more energy through the whole body. And of course, for one more, we're going to do the left leg. So left leg out, hip level, stretch it out, everything facing the floor, bend the elbows, and again, bringing the chest and chin down toward the floor as that leg 
keep straight out, lifting a little bit more. Once more, as straight line through your whole body as you can. Stretch it out, and then press it into your hands, lifting back up, shifting back into that parallel to the floor position, and bringing the knee back to the floor. And again, sink back, hips toward the heels, circle your wrists. Take a moment, back in child's pose. And so deep in your breath, just let everything release. And then again, arms to the front, pivoting up and back into table. So once again, find your position, lift those ribs, get the spine as straight as you can, shoulder blades, sitting bones, reaching back, crown reaching to the front. Take a moment there, breathe in. We're gonna do our threading the needle twist. So take one hand, palm up, slide it through, head and shoulder come all the way to the floor. You can lift that elbow to the ceiling on the hand that's still palm down, that gives you a little bit more upper body twist through that shoulder area. Stay there, good twist, if that's where you wanna be. A little bit more through the lower body, just bring that right foot near your left hand and press out through the heel. Head and shoulder, not your neck, on the floor. Stay there if that's your twist level today, or bring the hand straight up above your shoulder right hand toward the ceiling and look up at it. As you look up at that arm in the air, let the arm come further behind you, back of your hand toward the floor, right behind your shoulder, rolling onto the back of your head, not your neck. So maximize as much into that twist, but remember, it's a little bit balancing if you go too far, so don't overdo it. Heel presses out, hand pushes back, or you may still be in one of those other level positions. Perfectly good. So take a breath, just relax. And then if your hand is up, bring it back down. If your leg went out, pull it back in, press into your right hand, unthread the needle, and just feel the body. Once again, just take a moment Noticing how everything is through your spine, through your body, from the twist. Now I'm just going to turn around because I think you can see better what's going on as I twist again to that opposite side. So once again, knees under your hips, wrists, elbows, and shoulders lined up. And we're going to twist the opposite way. So the head and shoulder come down as that arm slides out, shoulder and head, not neck, on the floor. Remember, if you need padding under your head to make that comfortable, you can do that. And again, just maximize or minimize your choice. You can just rotate that left elbow up toward the ceiling for a little gentle twist. Or if you want more in the lower back, you can bring the left leg near your right hand. And again, press out through the heel, getting a little bit more work going through that whole lower body. If that's working for you and that's enough, stay there. You don't have to have the leg out at all if you don't want to. And if you're going to the full level with your upper body, bring your left hand up, stretch it toward the ceiling right above your shoulder, and again, as you look at it, we'll lower the back of the hand behind you into your twist, only going however far you need to go. The chin is tucked in, the shoulder and head are on the floor. You're going a little bit more to the back of your head if you've got that arm in the air lowering behind you. But remember, you don't have to go there if that's not where you need to be. Take a breath, just exhale. And, and heel pushing away if you're in the full extended position. But again, don't go beyond your balance. And then if your hand is up, 
Bring that one back down. If your leg is up, bring the knee back in, unthread, and come back into table position. Take a moment, feel in your body. Now once more, hips back to your heels, forehead to the floor, hands next to your hips, and legs. Take a moment there, just breathing. And inhaling, sit up on your heels, bring your legs all the way to the front. Into snap position. Sitting bones connected, spine aligned, and crown to the ceiling. Use your core for support, and we're just going to roll back onto our back. So take a moment, reclined integration, hands, palms up, and Pull back of your body, connecting there. So we're going to do one more twist today. So allow yourself to come palms up, T position, arms straight out from your shoulders. And we're going to press the low back down slightly, bending your knees, bring the right leg up toward the ceiling. So flex the heel, push the foot up to so the whole bottom of your leg, bottom of your foot is going up. Kneecap towards your thigh, keeping the leg as straight as you can. We're going to roll all the way to the left side. So come all the way onto your left side, bringing your foot down and your hands together right at shoulder level in front of you. Head to the floor. Again, you can pad under your head if that's uncomfortable for your neck. If you want to go into the deepest twist in your lower back, bring that foot up to your hand. And you hold your foot or your toes or your leg wherever it's comfortable. And again, press out through the whole bottom of your foot, giving that lower back deepen into the twist as much as it's right for you. Shoulder and head stay on the floor on the left side. And again, the right arm comes right above your shoulder. Look up at it, turning onto the back of your head. And again, just let that arm lower as much as it needs to behind you, bringing your body into the twist. So your shoulder may or may not get toward the floor. Your hand may or may not get near the floor. Gravity will pull you when your spine is ready to go. Keep turning your head for your neck and shoulder to get into the twist as well, looking toward that hand. Hand should be right at shoulder level as it moves toward the floor. And again, deepen as much or as little as your body needs in your twist today. Keep exhaling, allowing those ligaments to release, and your hand may come further toward the floor as those ligaments release the spine, allowing the twist to deepen. But never force anything in your twist, just let it happen. When you're ready to release, just let go of your leg or foot, roll onto your back. And again, just kind of reposition as you need to. Leg up toward the ceiling with the heel flex. Use your core for support as you slowly bring that leg back to the floor. And again, as it gets all the way down, just feel the twist energy through your body, maybe rising up to connect into that meditative center for your relaxation. And again, bend your knees slightly, sitting bones toward your heels, and bring the left leg up. Hands, palms up, T position, straight out from your shoulders. And again, just press out through the whole bottom of your foot, bringing that leg as straight as comfortable for you. And this time, we're rolling all the way to the right side. So go ahead, hands together, the leg down, and position all the way onto the side of your body. Stay there, or bring the foot up towards your hand and hold your foot, your toes, or your leg. Bring your left arm up, palm open, looking up at it, head and shoulders still to the floor, and looking at that hand and lowering it at shoulder level behind you. So not up towards your head, not down towards your hips, but straight out behind you, right at shoulder level. The hand may or may not come toward the floor. That's okay, just let it go where it needs to. And allow your body into its twist as much 
or is a little hesitant. Head turning, that's your neck and shoulder. Shoulder and shoulder blade coming down as much as they need to for that middle back twist. The more you're holding your foot at your shoulder level in front of you, the more that lower back is twisting as well. So minimize it if you need to as well. Take a few breaths here, just breathing and relaxing, letting the twist maximize or minimize as your body needs. And again, when you're ready to release, letting go of your leg, rolling onto the back, flexing your heel, leg straight, pressing the back down into the floor, getting that core connected and supportive as you lower your heel slowly all the way and root to the neck. As you get all the way down, just once more, focus inward. Notice from the sitting bones, tailbone, all the way up your spine into the middle of your head, getting ready for relaxation. So go ahead and shift those hands near your hips, palms up, bring the shoulders and shoulder blades down into that surface beneath you. Snuggle your sacrum down as well. You can keep the knees bent if that's something that makes your back more comfortable on the floor. And again, pad if you need to, wherever you need to, and just begin allowing your body to release. So soften, especially through that core, through that torso. We did a lot of work through that solar plexus and midsection of your body. So deep breaths, just letting everything soften. Just allow your body to sink a little deeper into that surface beneath you. Let your lower body relax. Feet and legs, hips and pelvis, just sinking deeper. Hands, palms up, slightly away from your side. To those shoulders and shoulder blades release. Move your head around, getting your neck relaxed. Soften your jaw, your face. Everything just sinking deeper as your body grows heavy. And just allow Mother Earth to support you. Letting your body sink into that surface. Always supported fully. Letting thoughts of your body just release from your awareness. Letting everything relax. As you release those thoughts of your body, other thoughts will come to you. Just let them drift away. It's the job of your mind to keep producing thoughts. It's your choice whether you pay attention to the content. At this moment, there's no need to remember the past. No need to anticipate the future. Just let the worry go. Let the thoughts drift. Let the content just disappear with the breath releasing unnoticed. And just let your mind drift easily in and out. Let your breath flow in and out. Relaxing body, releasing mind. Just deepening into that awareness of the peace within. Let your body go. Let your mind fill with peace. Just be peace.
And you need to stay relaxing for a while longer. Feel free to do that. Or else begin breathing more fully, drawing energy and awareness back to the moment, to the room, to the body. Just letting everything begin stretching gently as you become ready to do so. And when you're ready for that final yoga hug, just press your back down, draw your knees toward your heart, wrap your arms around as much as feels right for you. And again, just let your body know you appreciate its yoga work today and the work it does for you every day. And when you're finished with your hug and appreciation, just release feet to the floor, roll onto your side, and sit back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead for you today. Thanks for joining me. Hope you have a good day.